and then there's the bottom. No dripping. Okay. For the big bowl, obviously it's warped, <laughs> but that's okay. It's for us. This is the tiger's eye, and I did extra thick uh, dribbles down in here for it to do that. And the back is Omo Coyote Almost Teal. And it had a, I mean, it just kept wanting a pinhole and pinhole and pinhole, no matter how thin I got it because of the texture that I put on this. And I mean, I rubbed like the Dickens all over the whole thing, and I missed um, a few spots right along the very edge where I just could not get it. But what I did was I mixed some of my low fire blue. Here, I'll see if I can get a better picture of this. I'm not sure if I can or not. Um, I guess that's going to be it. Um, some low fire um, Mako blue, a little bit of Cascade, and the almost teal, and, I, and then I just sponged it on, on the top, and uh, obviously with the tiger's eye, I went all the way up to the rim, but I, I sponged a little bit over that. And I purposely put more tiger's eye in more in the center part. And uh, it really, it didn't run like I was hoping it would, but it really did give a cool effect on the edge, the very rim. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, now for the small items. This is my... Uh, tile with uh, coyote really red. I had the wa uh, black wax in there and it was really hard putting it in there because it's, the spaces are so small. Um, the glaze did end up kind of going over it a little bit in some areas so I went ahead and uh, I had to scrape it out the toothpick and obviously some of it got the black wax got scraped out but um, it turned out really good. It doesn't have the pinholes all over it. Look at that. I'm so happy. But that's three coats. And this one is um, the outside part is the uh, uh, Coyote um, Satin Lapis. I believe. Yeah. And the inside is the yellow satin yellow and I did put a dot of that spring green and it kind of dribbled down there a little bit at the back of it I, I, I put three coats but you could obviously see I, I could have put more because I, I was really thinning the glaze down like she said and, and that really did work oh oh and by the way these are um, ho homemade stamps that I've made with the um, with the clay maybe I'll show them at a later date this is Coyote Almost Teal with the orange satin um, from Coyote also. And I am just really happy with how that turned out. And this one I think is my favorite. This is my fish stamp that I made. Well, this isn't the stamp, obviously, but um, this color here is Georgie's Blueberry Mat. Oh my god, I am so happy with that. It's my favorite one. And I used the black, I thought maybe I'll use the black wax along the outer edge and that it turned out to be a good choice. I am just ecstatic about everything that turned out. Um, really, really happy. This is the last pendant that I did. Now this one has some severe um, pop marks in it. <laughs> this is, I'll tell you what the what this inside color is at a later date, but this close-up, you can see, look how beautiful that is. And that was a total accident. I'm going to make an actual item with the combination that was done in the middle there in the squiggle area and see how that comes out and then if it if that turns out then I, I'll show that in the next video whenever I get to make it um, it's a low fire color that I have 
and then one of the cone six colors that I have that I had put in here first and then covered over the whole thing with the low fire. Obviously the low fire stuff did not like like it by itself but there's only one little tiny pinhole right right up in here the rest of this looks good so I'm gonna give it a try on something else um, later and I'll let you guys know what the colors are at that point okay um, that's it until next time um, happy potting